Ready? DK, how do you win? DK, woo! What up, Deku? Had a speedster quirk part three. So basically, we pretty much left off with Deku talking about how his quirk has healing properties to some extent. And I'm just going to give you the bro signs. I'm basically going to say that it like <clears throat> rejuvenates people oddly, but it's like a passive thing because like when he, it doesn't, ha it's not like something he inherently controls, but like if he interacts with someone and then they're, they're in his domain or whatever, time flows differently, things move differently. The body is accelerated. They're basically moving at like, not literally, but like Mach 20. And like, there's a weird reaction that happens in the My Hero verse that allows for them to basically stimulate maximum growth. And this growth also entails hair potentially getting longer. Um, also them potentially, um, um, their body producing more chemicals, such and so forth, but thus healing them, bro science. So after all of this is being said and done, <coughs> we gonna have it to where All Might comes through and Deku's just like, yeah, I kind of figured it. And everyone's like, wait, what? How did you, did you, you didn't tell? No, I didn't tell no one. And Deck was just kind of not a lot, not really caring. Think about it. Why would I go around telling, hey, guys, the thing that's holding society up in Japan right now, hey, <laughs> you know, um, he's getting weaker, you know, res despite when he was in his prime, he was coming to a crime scene at this time. Then years later, after a particular fight, his time has been reduced, this, this, and that. So Deck was like, come on, bro. It's like obvious. If you take more than two seconds to think, he probably was fighting that one for all guy. Everyone's just like, what in the hell? Azawa like low key kind of gets like antsy when he hears that, bro. And like, you know, trying to trap Deku because he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's make sure. And uh, Deku just like pulls up behind Azawa and just like flicks him away, bro. Like it's almost like bro's teleporting on like how he be moving. He like flicks Azawa away. He's like. First of all, you don't attack me. Because, like, Deku just is, like, he's not in the mood for weaklings. Like, he's not God, but, like, he's stronger than most. He's like, one, you don't put your hands on me. That's, no, we don't do that. Do you understand? So, and second of all, I'm smart. I'm smarter than most people here. And since I'm able to change my perceptive perception, I'm able to think longer than most people. Hell, you know how many times I could have literally ran laps around y'all? Just a lot of things are boring now. It just, I was enjoying it more throughout my years of training and stuff. But I presume you want me to heal all my, so he could be in his prime again. And so he could, you know, do all that type of stuff. And they're just kind of like, yeah, yeah. He's like, okay, I can't promise that he'll be all right when I'm done with him, but i'll see what i can do and deku does such as that he heals all might and all might's at 100 percent, and he doesn't have a time limit and Deku's is just like there you go oh all might he he grabs bro on the shoulder looks him in his eyes to say you owe me and just walks away and before all might can get another word in deku's like no i'm not being your successor all Might's like, oh, how, how does he, once again, really fast, really speedy. I can literally go anywhere. No one can really stop me. By the time they realize I'm there, I'm already gone. And yeah, your quirks passed down, blah, blah, blah. I see this being realistic <clears throat> to some extent for Deku having this almost like omnipotent kind of like pov one because the stories are short and i'm like making it like this but two for the fact that if you got a deku that has a quirk he's gonna one try to figure out how to make it work then once he makes it work and let's say it's an op quirk he realizes that he's legitimately better than other people like he's just better so he's also gonna be like mm, okay once you get to a certain level you're like i keep training but like what else is there to learn so I can literally do research since he can also affect things that aren't in his like domain. He can make the perception of things around him. Basically, he's able to do mass amount of research <coughs> without um, with um, with like computers and stuff like that. 
while moving relatively fast and printing and stuff like that to read multiple things. So he's able to do multiple things at once almost, okay? So I feel like this version of Deku would have a lot of sense. And Deku would also probably give all my some knowledge, be like, hey, I personally advise you not to give your quirk away to someone that has a quirk. And All Might's like, what? Well, think about it. You're the first user of One For All to have a quirk. I mean, to be quirkless. He's like, is that? Just, just think about it. As he like smacks All Might, but he's like over here as he's leaving. And he says, Aozawa, don't take that hit personally. But he just like looks like he like, it just bloop. And he's like in front of Aozawa. Just don't try that shit again, please. I'm just better than most. And no one really feels like he's being arrogant, you know? It's more of a just like he is better than most. So he just blitz out. A few days pass or days pass, it doesn't matter. Then we have the first day of, you know, the, sh the stuff and everyone's doing their usual stuff. Talking really loud and all sorts of stuff like that and... Azawa is basically like, it took y'all X amount of time to get quiet. We're not tolerating this nonsense, blah, blah, blah. Azawa noises. And Azawa sees that Deku's actually just, just, just got there. Cause like Azawa didn't see him walk in and he's like, oh, okay. He just got there. And, and they they go over like, I don't think they did this in Kenyan, but I don't remember, but they go over the scores and like, you know, Bakugo's like, what, Deku got first? I thought I got first and, and all sorts of stuff like this, right? So, what happening is they say, no, nah, we need to show you the quirks. They do the, you know, assignment. So, it all begins with all these different little activities that they partake in, okay? They um, do the little dash run. Deku easily wins that, like, not even like the second it literally goes like this ready set and go Deku's like yep as he with his arms behind his back and he's just walking just hmm. he looks at Ida he even taps Ida on the shoulder and it's a thing that he can actively do with pocket beans and he's just like Ida it, Ida's just like well, well I can't tie ah 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 don't try to move. Don't hurt yourself. This is true speed. And Ida's just like, what is he? And then Deku just walks. Just to the finish line. And then Deku snaps his fingers. And then everyone's just like, ah, they're all like trying to run. And then like a light, like a good gust of wind. And then they're just like, what the? And then Deck was just sitting there with the wind glush in his eyes. And he has like a nice type of like gelling over his eyelids. It's like an adaptation for the speed. And, 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 and it's just like all the activities. Azawa eventually just tells Deku to like sit out of them until they get to the ball throw. Cause he's like, there's really no point. You're going to do it. And Deku's just like, all right. And so that happens. <clears throat> then we get to the point where they do the ball throw. Uraraka gets her infinity. Bakugo does his thing. And then Deku's just like, hmm, how would I do it? And then Azawa said, Izuku Midoriya, would you like to try? And he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a go. So Deku throws the ball. He like throws it and then does the perception right, but like while it's still within his reach, and he just starts spinning, spinning it, bro, just <laughs> <laughs> building up that mean kinetic, bro, just push. He's like, go, pretty, fly, fly to the moon. Okay, hold on, maybe not the moon. As he like grabs it, just eh. yeah, I like the full moon, not the moon with a hole in the middle. Goodbye. So what ended up happening is that happens. Everyone's surprised and everyone's like, what is this quirk? And he just like, hey, it used to be called, you know, um, jitter step, but I'm going to call it speedster. Or you know what? I have a better name for it. Call my quirk Octane. And everyone's like, oh, wow. And then, you know, Kirishima, that sounds so manly. 
And that's pretty much where we're going to end the video. Yeah, a few seconds sooner than normal. I hope y'all guys are liking this new stuff that I'm doing so far. And we'll say the light goal for this one is what? The last one was like 20, 30. We'll do 40. If y'all hit that, I'll upload another video on the same day. If I have one, catch y'all later.